Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 25 Ultimate Team game. Today, as you can see from last season, our team is the same. We still got Vic sitting there at quarterback. We still got the receivers, the defense, but we have a new number one cornerback that goes by the name of Charles Woodson. Dion is gone. Enter Charles Woodson. And you guys are probably wondering, why would you get rid of Dion? Why don't you just get rid of Tracy Porter? Why don't you just keep both Charles Woodson and Dion? Well, honestly... I'm not really feeling Dion. You watch my games, he gets mossed pretty often. And I don't know, his tackling is low. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Dion's just overrated. So I felt like I could just sell him for his overrated price and then just get Charles Woodson for like cheaper. So that's what I ended up doing. I did the Woodson collection since I got like one of them in a pack. And here we are now with Charles Woodson instead of Dion Sanders. And we'll see if there is a difference right now. I already sold Dion. I already, I already set my bet. I just got to lay in it. And look at this. Charles Woodson coming across for the interception. And already he has the same amount of production as Dion. So, you know, it's already a good deal. I mean, if he dropped it, that's one thing. But he caught it, so it's all good. And here was Sean McCoy turning a negative into a positive, getting a gain and trying to get some mortar. But we try to hit a juke, and we end up going out of bounds. And this is the beginning of Season 5. We just came off the Super Bowl win that I live com And nothing else changed on the team. Everybody else is the same, just Charles Woodson on it. And as you can tell, one thing that I said, I, I hinted at my upgrade that I never did, was the free safety spot. And Troll Roll is still there because he did such a good job last season that I'm not in dire need of upgrading. He was pretty damn good back there, so... I was like, you know what? While I'm here, let me just keep Antro roll free safety and we just play some games. And there, third down, 18. Big drop there by Victor Cruz because that was an easy first down. And Cruz actually took like a step there and then dropped the ball. It's like, okay, Cruz. Okay. So, uh, Demarius Thomas might be coming back soon. You keep on doing that, Cruz. I love you and all, but you can't keep on doing that. You want to stay on the team. And this guy has Walter Payton at quarterback. So, um, fumbling the ball won't really be something that we're looking to get the quarterback to do. We're just hoping to force him into bad reads and stuff like that. And this one was a bad read, but he's just getting these throws, man. I'm just like, all right. We, we gotta, we gotta, get, we, I don't know, we gotta do something about this Walter Payton thing. Just force him into another Charles Woodson turnover, but now he's not starting to throw the deep ball anymore, unless it's, you know, to the running back, which he somehow keeps on getting. Look at those pancakes on that screen pass. Damn. And there we injure Reggie Bush, and Reggie Bush is actually out for the game. So he's been, you know, trying to throw it to Reggie Bush a lot, trying to get Reggie Bush involved, but now we took Bush out the game, so that's cool until Ryan Matthews enters and does the same exact stuff Reggie Bush was doing. So it's like nothing even happened. A minute 30 left in the game, Ryan Matthews gets stuffed by Luke Keekley. Second down, I'm definitely looking at the running back, because he keeps on throwing those running back wheels. I messed up the first time, but this time I'm right on the spot! But he still gets it over the top, and it's hard to play that because if I play it too high, the running back just stops, and there's like a little rock, mini rocket catch like animation. And if I don't, he apparently disguised over my head, and I can't get an animation. So, you know, it's hard. And plus, you know, I've mentioned before, I'm still pretty rusty. I mean, you go from play like anybody who's had decent at Madden will tell you that you take like a three week break from playing Madden, you're gonna be a little bit rusty on some stuff. As Michael Vick probably should be sliding instead of taking those hits and going out of bounds, one or the other. I probably should have done there to be smart. Instead, you know, now there's only 25 seconds left because of that, and then we fumbled the ball once again. Should have thrown the ball away. And I'm looking to throw the ball upfield and. Two boneheaded plays in a row gives my opponent easy field goal ranger. Now that he rushes in with Walter Payton, think who would get the hit there to at least force him to use a timeout. He has one left, so... You know, he's probably going to get a field goal here unless we give up some sort of touchdown. He's trying to hit the screen pass, but he almost throws an interception to J.J. Watt. Oh, we could have had that one. We would have been set. But the next play, he goes deep and finds Antrell Roll. And look at... Oh, Roll. Oh, roll. He might have gone all the way there if he didn't get shoestring tackled and said flea flicker for the end of the half. Trying to get the Calvin there, but cannot hit it. And unfortunately, we only scored three points in the half. Now, it could have been seven if Cruz would have caught his pass, but that's another thing for another day. And, you know, I, I've just been screwing around a little bit too much. So it's time to get a little bit serious and just chuck it up to Moss. That was the play that got us to the Super Bowl, but we cannot hit it that time. So we just go to the run game. Hand out to McCoy, but... There's not much there. So now it's third down and 11 again. And I throw it a wheel route to Jamal Charles who comes up with it. And now it's my turn to get a random throw. 
to the running back in coverage there, to, and he somehow comes down with it. And look at McCoy, just easily stiff arming there, trying to get the first down, move the sticks there. Instead, second down, trying to get option, but instead we lose three yards. So now we're at yet another third down. This time, though, I run the ball, McCoy, on the counter again, easy first down here. We're in field goal range, but at this point, it's four down territory because we can't get a field goal and still not get the lead. And look at Michael Vick shaking and then trying to throw it deep, but we get hit right before. That one guy came down and committed to Vick instead of going up for whatever reason. Didn't go our way. Now, here we go. One more time. It's third down. We got to try to convert this one. And look at that wide open Jamal Charles first down. And we are just living on third downs right now. And mainly because we can't do anything on the first two downs, which I'm not too happy about. Second down 13. Run the ball to the outside with McCoy. Coy get a decent game, but now we're at, what do you know, third down and seven as somebody gets injured. We throw it up for Calvin, but Calvin drops it, and now we're at fourth down, and near the start of the fourth quarter, I notice it's four down territory, and we find Victor Cruz wide open for the first down there, heading to the fourth quarter, handed it off to LaShawn McCoy, who hits the spin move and gives us the lead. We got a long winning streak on the line here that I don't want to give up. At the same time, though, it's a regular season game, but I, I'm not trying to lose any games. So, we got to lock it down. He only needs a field goal to tie the game. So, he's not exactly in... Like, he, need, he doesn't need to press or anything. He can take his time. He can run with Walter Payton and get a first down there. Next play, Payton on the run as he's been doing all game. And I'm not even sure this dude is right-handed or left-handed. He's just throwing dots at either hand. I'm like, okay. Here he tries to hit the screen pass, but Vontez perfect locks it up. We were on it, and then perfect on the pass rush. Now it's second down and 29. He rolls out Walter Payton. That's a gain of nine yards. But I'll take that because now it's third down 20. I'm definitely okay with that. So now third down 20 comes out four verts. We got him locked up trying to find the running back but instead he gets sacked again by perfect and now it's fourth down 34 he's got to go for this one he's running a desperation screen pass gets it to ryan matthews who has some green up ahead ryan matthews gets the first down matthews the 15 to 10 and finally tackled at the five yard line but how do we give up a screen on fourth and 34 Oh my god, that's definitely my fault, man. And this guy comes out needing the ball. It's like, okay, now he definitely has to get a touchdown third down, which he does. So, in essence, needing the ball was a gamble that he took, and it ended up paying off because now we have to burn an extra timeout, and he gets a touchdown. So, we have no timeouts. Minute 34 left. We're down four. So, a touchdown is what we need right now. A touchdown wins us the game, so... No, we have no timeouts. We got to press at this point. We got to move as fast as we can. Try and throw the screen pass there, but it gets swatted, bringing up yet another third down. And on third down, we find Calvin Johnson in the middle of the field, and Calvin moves the chains to the 41-yard line. No timeouts, so we got to call hurry up. Next play, Victor Cruz on the out route, trying to get out of bounds here, but he gets tackled beforehand. Still got to run hurry up here. Got to press, got to press. Trying to run another wide receiver screen, but it's not open. I try to hit Cruz there, but I got hit before I could throw it. Now, second down 10, looking at Calvin in the middle of the field but we get popped as we throw it and thankfully it's swatted down bringing up third down with 49 seconds left and a big hit of lag comes in we try to throw it to randy in the corner but it gets intercepted by rogers cromarty and with no timeouts left we are stuck we are screwed and we are going to lose and that one was tough because i did i definitely did not mean to lob it up to randy moss a Big hit of lag came through. Not that I want to make excuses or anything, but a big hit of lag came, and I ended up lobbing the pass. I kept on hitting X, and we ended up losing the game because of that. But nonetheless, we should never have been in that position. We should have stopped, stopped the screen. So forget the lag. We that's my bad for giving up a fourth down 34. So we ended up losing the game, unfortunately. I hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Man 25 Ultimate Team gameplays, and I will catch you guys next time.